हाय जय योगी वीरेंद्र योगी इन दी वज्रासना पोस्चर बिलवे फ्रेंड्स यू नो व्हेन यू आर डूइंग प्राणायामा दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्शियस ब्रीथिंग और कंट्रोलिंग योर ब्रेथ इन अ सर्टेन वे दैट रियली पंप्स लॉट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू योर लंग्स एंड लंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट कैपिलरीज ब्लड वेसल्स वेयर देयर इज आरबीसी which has affinity to our oxygen it absorbs such oxygens and it goes to the heart and the heart is pumping all these kind of purified blood with lot of oxygen through your arteries and veins to the different cells of your body and you feel energetic you feel enthusiastic your mind is also filled with positive energy truth justice peace love and non violence become your permanent nature because breathing affects your state of mind it can really make you nervous it can make you very stable it can make you stressed strained depressed discouraged disappointed all sorts of negativity can be there in your mind if your breathing is not appropriate like you know greed anger hatred jealousy ignorance indolence foolishness all are the by product of your state of mind If your mind is really negative you can be a dangerous creature but if your mind is very positive which is the by product of your conscious breathing you can become calm serene tranquil steadfast you can really enjoy very peaceful and happy life always you will have a holistic approach in life health happiness and harmony at your doorstep beloved friends that's why this yogi vrendr yogi has embraced yogic way of life and i'm sitting in the bajrasana In this video I want to emphasize on the importance of pranayama and the three most important pranayama which is kapalabhati anulom vilom vaya and count it bhastrika also beloved friends what is breathing breathing is we are also doing breathing now without breathing we cannot stop we survive chale vate chale chitam nishalam nishlan bhavet as long as the air is moving in our lungs and it is going to different cells of the body which contains oxygen we are alive the moment the oxygen supply ceases to go to the different cells we die beloved friends not only that as long as we are breathing pure air our mind is also pure and it is active the moment we send lot of toxic gases like carbon dioxide a lot of impure gases to our lungs and then through heart to the different cells of your body you become sick that's why a lot of diseases in the modern time because of the environment is not protected there is a lot of pollution so beloved friends what i tell you you have to fill your body with lot of oxygen through artificial way when we are doing normal breathing we take 2 3 4% of the lungs capacity but when we do pranayama means pumping lot of oxygen controlling the breath consciously taking the lungs to its fullest capacity we really send the prana which is called life force or which you can also say psycho physio spiritual force which permeates the whole universe this breathing is not only oxygen to your lungs but the whole energy enthusiasm and the force of the universe also goes to your body and then your mind become calm serene positive you develop non violent truthfulness self reliance self confidence your memory becomes sharp your eyesight become perfect your forehead starts radiating like the sun and all your systems of the body also become very very effective and toned so what you get in turn a very healthy body very strong body muscular and your mind is very calm very intelligent and very sharp and you are also very calm serene you become wise and you know when you are wise you will use your mind as an intricate and accurate machine so the mind is in your full possession you are in full control of your mind because that is the real purpose of yoga yoga chitta vritti nirodha yoga teaches you the techniques by meditation to take full possession of your own mind and control and direct towards whatever aims and ambitions of your life like buddha did his aims and ambition was to be enlightened 
and entered into the world of perfect tranquility, harmony, peace and joy. That was not the monopoly of Buddha and Vivekananda. You can also attain it too. But where there is a will, there is a way. This Vrindri Yogi has a very, very earnest desire, a burning desire, a consuming obsession of my life. That's why I'm not only doing yoga myself, I've taken the task and challenge to teach the basic yogic arts of living to the millions and millions all around the world. I have some team, Baba Ramdev, our charge, in charge, the chief is a light brigade in charge. He is our leader who is teaching yoga all over the world. But he cannot do alone himself. We are his alliance partner. We also share views and ideas about yoga. So beloved friends, let's talk something about pranayama. The first one is Vastrika pranayama. You see how my chest will be really filled with oxygen. There's nothing like bulging. Dear friends, here you are pumping a lot of air which contains oxygen to your lungs and your lungs become very strong. And that is the effect. So lungs is very strong. You are pumping a lot of oxygen to your body through hearts. And so your lungs become strong, your heart becomes strong. And this breathing is also affecting your nervous system. Your mind becomes calmer, calmer and you become very peaceful. Because one beautiful thing what yoga teaches, when you are breathing inside, the air should be combined with, means it should be allied with a noble thought, like the thought of joy, happiness, peace, prosperity, success, happiness, harmony, that thought of tranquility, peace and joy, thinking that you are becoming healthy, your mind is becoming health conscious, your mind is become love conscious, compassionate, non-violent. So you are not only taking breathe that is air inside, but you are alighting, combining this air with noble thoughts, the purity of thoughts, what I have just told you. And you have to focus your mind on the eyebrows in between, what we call third eye place, ajana. So your mind is controlled. Like see, I am breathing, and with breath, with that breath which I am breathing inside, I am adding the positive thoughts, like I am serene, I am calm, I'm lovable, I'm compassionate, I'm non-violent, I'm truthful, I'm very strong physically, mentally I'm very sharp, I'm dedicated, committed to serve the mankind. These purity of thoughts, they are added to our mind because we are what we think. All that we are arises with our thought, with our thought we make the world. So the thought, that should reverberate in your mind. The positive thought when you're breathing in and when you are breathing out, you have to think and concentrate on the negative thoughts. Like all the toxic gases, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. And all the toxic which is accumulated in our body because of our inefficient way of breathing, they are also going out. So what happens? Our body, mind, heart and soul become very pure because we are pumping oxygen. And the oxygen is going through our arteries and veins which heart is pumping different cells. Not only it is giving oxygen, but it is giving also the nutrition to every cell, so the body becomes fresh. This is the beautiful benefits of yoga. After doing yoga, asana and padayama, you never get tired. Rather, you become more energetic and more enthusiastic. All the stress, strain, depression, all the negative energy has gone out of your body because you are flushing out. Now, take some deep breathing. Beloved friends, these are some of the way you can do Vastrika Pana. Now let's go to one of the monarch and king of the yogic breathing. That is called conscious breathing, the Kapalabhati. This is the king of that. It is the best one. 99% diseases are cured by this Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati, Kapal means forehead. And Bhati means radiance, glow on your forehead. Because once your body is very strong, muscles are toned and your body is freshened by passing a lot of oxygen to every nerves and cells of your body, you will become like the sun. You will radiate. You will become radiant 
resplendent, refulgent, you become the ultimate source of energy, inspiration, motivation, commander in chief of your own life. And then a great guru is spreading this radiation to the waves of positive energy to the entire universe. As it Buddha Vivekananda, today Ramdev, my best friend, is doing to the entire world. Learn yoga. Now let's see how to do this Kapal Bhati. Beloved friends, Kapal Bhati is a process where we are only exhaling very forcefully. Our whole purpose is to exhale all the carbon dioxide and all the negative energy and toxic gases out of our body. And in between the two forceful exhalation, the air will automatically enter inside our lungs. So we have not to apply any effort in inhalation, but the whole purpose is exhalation. Now look at. The importance of Kapal Bhati is unparalleled. Beloved friends, you know all the vital organs, all the systems which make us survive is situated in this area. Lungs, respiratory system, heart, circulatory system, then come livers, and then comes pancreas, and then comes spleen, and then comes your stomach, and then comes your intestine, and then comes your uterus if you are a woman, then comes prostrate, if you are a man. So all the vital organs are situated here. Once you are doing Kapalati, all these vital systems of the body, they are activated. They are supremely charged, they are toned. And once every system of the body is working in harmony, for which is destined and designed by the universal forces. Why you will fall sick? Why there will be disease? Why there will be any kind of sorrow, suffering, grief and pain, you will become absolutely all right. It is just like a vehicle which every part and system is perfect, the vehicle will run very smoothly. But there is outside the mechanic. But here you yourself are the mechanic. By doing this Kapal Bhati, you are activating and charging and toning all your systems of the body. Your nervous system is really very charged. So when your nervous system is working perfectly all right, you will have no problem, no Parkinson's, no paralysis. No algerium diseases, no any problem, no problem, no problem. All are gone from your body. No respiratory problem, no circulatory problem, no digestive problem, no kidney problem, no prostate problem, no uterus problem, regular menstrual flow. Fantastic ability of the ovulation so that the sperm and ovulation, sperm and ovum will combine together and you will get beautiful children. Your sexual urge also become very dominant and powerful. You can enjoy the blessings of the most supreme emotions which was given to the every species by Lord, by the infinite intelligence, by the natural forces. But yoga teaches you brahmacharya means control your sexual urge by doing this pranayama, meditation. Beloved friends, so let's see Kapal Bhati again. Multiple benefits. Beloved friends, be wise, be intelligent. You have always time to take care of your health. If you are not taking care of your health, you are not taking care of anything else. If you think health is not everything else, you may be the greatest idiot and fools on earth. Health is everything. Without health is nothing. You cannot even survive. Survival of the fittest. That is the natural law. The Darwin's theory of evolution. You have to be strong to survive in perfect harmony in holistic way. Health, happiness and harmony. Peace, joy and happiness. Love, fame and fortune. All is for the brave who is following the yogic way of life. 
you can do any more exercises play different games but when you play different games that is unnatural a lot of people athletes have injury and they get tired and exhausted but once you are doing yoga asana and pranayama you never get tired you get energy all the pains are gone even the headache margin pain is gone every pains of the body and ligaments everything become in perfect order embrace yoga beloved friend another in the series the third very vital one is called vayu prana this is very very important for again the organ you have to exhale and make three closing band what we call jalandhar band udyan band and mool band there has to be no inlet of air from any parts of the body top and bottom and you have to suck your stomach to your rib cage and to your also spinal cord beloved friends and then you will have no problem with the stomach nothing lot of experts have says some ladies have problem that their ovary goes out some male has problem that the ns goes out all these problem will solve some pro- people have problem of urination all will be solved kidney problem calcium deficiency homeoglobin deficiency cholesterol problem all lsd ld all will be solved what is really required for a body so see the bio vipana exhale very powerful Let's watch again. Take some deep breathing. Beloved friends, it is supplement to the Kapalbhati, and it can really make your entire system very, very perfect. Beloved friends, this is also a very, very important way of pranayama for weight loss. You see, this yogi friend has some fats. You little fats are there. I will burn it. Promise you. That is my determination. I want no extra fat in my body. I don't want even a pound of extra weight in my body. I have to be an example for millions of the people all over the world. Perfect only creates perfection in the environment, in this populated world. Don't worry. If you are not disciplined, and if you have no control on your diet, anybody can become fat. Obesity is outcome of voracious eating, glutinous eating. But if you do yoga, your mind will be always disciplined and conscious. You will never do anything which is unwanted, undesired, because yoga chitvrti nirodha. Yoga teaches you how to control your mind and stop it from taking different forms. The mind is tough; it is absolute in your command because of your intelligence and because of your wisdom, and you can govern a beautiful life. Everything is perfect. Now let's see on the long vilong, beloved friends. As you already know, I am holding my. self in right hand so i will do with left hand close your right nostril and take very forceful breathing from your left nostril close the left nostril and exhale through right nostril And again, remember, when you are inhaling inside, with your breath, pump all the positive thoughts in your body, and your mind should be concentrated on Trinatra, that is Ajna, 
in between the two eyebrows so that and you can put any kind of symbol like in Vedanta Om is the most important one. Put their Om. Dear friends, I have introduced today this session four Panayama. Bhastrika, Kapalbhati, Vahivi and Anulom Vilom. There is another chain Ujjayi Panama. <coughs> Dear friends, in Ujjayi Panama, we have to make our throat very powerful. So we the throat breathing very forcefully. You chest it and take it. Beloved friends, I will talk in other session different mudra, but mudra is also important. You can do in this pranayama in jnana mudra or in vayu mudra. These are two good ones. Baba Ramdev suggests this vayu mudra. Put your this fourth finger here and put it on the thigh and do this. Now I will do udvich pranayama, udgit pranayama, that is chanting of all. Om is the word which originated first in the universe. It is made of three letters. Aum, Aum, Beloved friends, we end our session with Shanti Mantra, chanting of Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Shantu Niramaya Sarvadrani Pashantu Makashi Dukhbhag Bhavi Om Masudoma Sadagamaya Tamusoma Jyotirigamaya Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. O oh, Divine Providence, we ask for not more riches, but for more wisdom to make the value of the intelligence which bless the time of our birth in the form of our mind to control and direct our own mind towards the attainment of any definite purpose in life and the purpose being the holistic approach to our life, health, happiness and harmony for me, for you, for everyone. The whole universe is our family. Vasudeva Tumbakam. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you very much, beloved friends. Live healthy, happy, and very joyful, profound life and become very strong. <laughs>